Hello! My name is Miss Caitlin, and I'm so glad you came to church today. We are now in the fourth week of our series on the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is a gift that God gives us to help us live a life that pleases Him and shows His love to those who do not know God. Throughout this series, we are going to learn about how we can develop the fruit of the Spirit as we grow closer to Jesus. Today, we're going to learn about the fourth fruit of the Spirit, which is patience. Now, before we dive in, I want to ask you a question. Are there times when you feel like it's hard to be patient? If so, when? Take 30 seconds, turn to someone next to you, and tell them your answer. It is not always easy to be patient. Sometimes it can be extremely difficult. But today we're going to learn about how we can have patience no matter what situation we're in. Now, let's stand up and worship our Lord together. Oh, we
of worshiping everyone. When we worship, we can thank Jesus for loving us so much. Because of Jesus' love for us, we're able to have the fruit of the Spirit. Our Bible verse tells us about all the qualities that we can develop when we have a relationship with Jesus. And as we grow closer to Him, the fruit will grow inside of us so that we can show others what God's love looks like. Now, let's say our memory verse together. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5.22 Tired or confused when a friend is mad I said something rude God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit A life full of love, grace and truth I got love, joy, peace Patience, kindness, goodness Faithfulness, gentleness and self-control God's love shown to all the world When my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused When a friend is mad or said something rude God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit A life full of love, grace, and truth I got love, joy, peace Patience, kindness, goodness Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control God's love shown to all the world I got love, joy, peace Patience, kindness, goodness Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control God's love shown to all the world God's love shown to all the world I got love, joy, peace Patience, kindness, goodness Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control God's love shown to all the world God's love shown to all the world are now going to watch our Bible story about a man named Paul. And in this story, Paul is going to show us how we can have patience even in the most difficult circumstances. Let's watch our Bible story so we can learn more about Paul's story. Slapstick Theater. Paul and Felix. This is Paul. Oh, hey who told people about Jesus in lots of different places, many of the Jews did not like what Paul was doing. So they made a plot to kill him. Since Paul was a Roman citizen, he was taken in by the Romans so they could find out what the Jews had against him. Paul was sent to Felix, the governor at Caesarea. The Jews brought their case before Felix. They said that Paul was a troublemaker and was stirring up riots among the Jews all over the world. <laughs> then Paul got his chance to speak. He said that he was not stirring up trouble at all and that these men couldn't prove the things they said of him. 
Paul said that he believed everything in the Jewish law, for he was a Jew himself and a follower of Jesus. Then Felix concluded the council and pushed it off until someone else could decide the case. He ordered Paul to be put in prison, but his friends could still visit him and take care of him. A few days later, Felix and his wife, who was a Jew, sent for Paul. Ah, Paul! Paul told them all about his faith in Jesus and the truth of what Jesus said. Felix became afraid and sent Paul away. Uh, go away! For the next two years, Felix would call Paul before him and talk with him often. Felix hoped that Paul would bribe him, but that did not happen. After two years of this, Felix was replaced by a new leader. Felix wanted to gain favor with the Jews, so he left Paul in prison. Paul would go on to have many more trials, but through it all, he continued to speak the truth of Jesus. Paul waited on God's timing instead of his own. Paul remained patient even when he was in jail for two years. He continued to speak and to share his story and to wait. Patience is hard to control, but we can remember that God's plan will prevail. God will give us patience when we need to continue on the plan he has for us. Now that we've seen an example of patience from the Bible, let's take a look and see what an example of patience may look like in our world today. Remember, having patience is waiting with a good attitude. And sometimes it can be extremely difficult to have patience, but God promises to help us have patience despite how long we have to wait. So let's check out this short film and see how we can have patience in our daily lives.
just like we saw in our video, it's not always easy waiting with a good attitude. It is so hard to remain patient, especially if we're really excited or find ourselves feeling frustrated. But something we should remember is to rely on God's timing instead of our own. God's plan for us is better than we could ever imagine. And this is why we should have patience and wait with a good attitude. We've now seen two examples of what patient looks like in the Bible and in our world today. So let's continue to unpack the word a little more and to see why God says we have patience by waiting with a good attitude. I love to wait, don't you? Okay, maybe not. The truth is, no one likes to wait for something they're excited about. Waiting is hard. And that's where patience comes in. What is patience? Well, I'm glad you asked. We learn in the Bible that patience is waiting with a good attitude. Let's face it, waiting is part of life. Like waiting for something to load on your computer. Or waiting for your chance to shine in the big game. Or waiting for good news about a sick loved one. No one likes to wait. But God wants us to handle the waiting the best way possible. He wants us to have a good attitude while we are waiting because this makes us more ready and able to do the things that please the Lord. In our Bible story, we learn that Paul had to wait over two years for a verdict after being arrested for something he didn't even do. Can you imagine how hard this must have been? waiting all that time not knowing what was going to happen. Paul probably didn't understand why these things were happening to him. But he still had integrity and a good attitude during the time he was waiting. This helped him fulfill the things God wanted from him. A lot of times in life, we don't understand why we have to wait for something. Still, it is important during these times to trust God. Trust that He is in control and He will make things work out the best way possible based on His timing. The best part is that God helps us with these tough situations. If you sincerely ask Him to help you, He will. Having patience means waiting with a good attitude. We can do this because all things are possible with our God. Just like we heard in our video, patience is waiting with a good attitude. It is not always easy to have patience, especially when we have to wait for what seems like forever. But the Bible tells us we should be patient in all circumstances. And whenever we feel like we're struggling with being patient, we can ask Jesus to help us. Remember, as we continue to grow closer to Jesus, we are able to have the fruit of the Spirit. And when we have the fruit of the Spirit, we can then show others what patience looks like. Patience is waiting with a good attitude. I hope you had a great time learning about how we can have the fruit of the Spirit. When we make the decision to follow Jesus, He will help us to have the fruit of the Spirit, like patience. Remember, we can always ask Jesus to help us be patient. We should always rely on His timing instead of our own. And if you find yourself feeling stressed or impatient, I want to encourage you to take a moment 
Take a deep breath and ask Jesus to help you be patient. We should try our best to remember that God has an amazing plan for us. And his plan is so much better than anything we could ever think or imagine. So let's go ahead. Let's bow our heads so we can pray together. Dear God, thank you for caring so much about me. Even when it's difficult, I want to wait with a good attitude. Please help me to remember that with your help, I can have patience in all circumstances. Thank you for giving me the fruit of the Spirit. I love you, and it's in your name we pray. Amen.